Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the mat stitch, which is this stitch that you see here, the stitch design. It's uh, quite a pretty design and it's made up of double crochets and chain stitches similar to a V stitch. If I pull one apart here, you can kind of see it in there. Um, so they're similar to V stitches. They are staggered throughout, which gives you this uh, pretty almost lacy design, but um, it uh, it's, has a lot of structure to it. Okay, it's the same on both sides. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, as well as this Karen Times Pantone yarn. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Today for our mat stitch we're going to start by working a slip knot and we're going to make a foundation chain with a multiple of six plus two stitches. So a multiple of six stitches and then add two onto the end. Today I'm going to start by making a foundation chain of 20 stitches. There's 10, 18, 19, and 20. Once you have your foundation chain with a multiple of 6 plus 2 stitches, you're going to begin your first row by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. We're now going to work a bit of a shell stitch. You're going to skip the next two chains and then into that next chain you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and work one more double crochet into the same stitch. So into that one chain you'll have three double crochet stitches and two chain stitches. Skip the next two chains and work a single crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two chains, into the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, single crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final three stitches, you're going to skip the next two and work a single crochet into that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row one. For row two, you're going to begin by working a chain four, and this is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. Turn your work. And next, you're going to work a double crochet into that same stitch. So just down at the base of your turning chain, work one more double crochet stitch. Skip the next double crochet and chain one, and into the top of that center double crochet in that shell below, work a single crochet stitch. Skip the next chain one and the double crochet, into the single crochet, work your shell. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Skip the double crochet in the chain one, and single crochet into the next double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working your shells into your single crochet stitches, 
and working your single crochets into that center double crochet of the shell below. Repeat that all the way across. And when you come to your final single crochet stitch, work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain one, turn your work, start by single crocheting into the top of that first stitch, so into that double crochet stitch, skip your chain one and your double crochet, find that single crochet stitch, and work a shell stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch. And then you've probably guessed it by now, but find that uh, middle double crochet, so skip the next double crochet, skip the chain one, into that middle one, work a single crochet, then a shell into your next single crochet stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. You can see that this is a fairly quick stitch to work. I think it would be beautiful in a shawl or maybe a handbag. You can let me know what you would use it in in the comments. When you come to your final chain, starting chain four there, you're going to skip that double crochet, skip a chain one, and then into the third chain of that st uh, a starting chain four work a single crochet stitch. And that's all there is to working this matte stitch pattern. You're from here on end, you're going to repeat your rows two and three. So your row two was the one that started with that chain four. Turn your work, double crochet in your same stitch, and so forth, and then the row three that we just worked. So thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!